Okay, so question number six continued. Um, this is now part C from M1 January 2013. A and B I did in the previous video. Um, here we're told that um, at 10 a.m. a passenger on the ship observes a lighthouse. L is due west of the ship, due west. Okay, so you have your directions north, east, south, west. So it's going to be the lighthouse is going to be this direction in relation to the ship, due west, it's exactly west, okay? Um, at 10.30 a.m., the passenger observed that the lighthouse is now southwest. Southwest is this direction, okay, exactly halfway between south and west. Now, find the position vector of L. So now they've given us some information. Now, we already did this part in the first part of the question. This is what we found. We found that the position vector of the ship is given by this. Okay, let me rewrite this in terms of its position vector and its velocity vector okay separating those from these components so you've got four and you've got four i and um, you're going to have four i and here you're going to have minus eight j plus t times and you're going to have um, minus six i and um, plus eight j okay four i plus minus 8j and you have minus 6ti plus 8tj okay yeah. so this is the velocity part of the vector this is tells us what direction it's moving in and this is the position vector when the time was zero this is the time in hours this is the hours the number of hours okay so i'm going to to make life um to make this a bit more understandable i'm going to help us to visualize what's going on by making some sort of a sketch Okay, this might help us to visualize what's going on. Okay, I'm not going to do it very accurately, but basically, this is its position at time equals zero, which is time equals zero is 9 o'clock, 9 a.m. Okay, time equals zero is 9 a.m. That's when we started, this is where this starts from. So you've got 4i minus 8j. Somewhere down here, okay, is the position of the ship when time is zero. That's 9 a.m. Okay, and it's moving in this type of direction. It's moving something like this. Okay, it's going minus 6i plus 8j. It's not very accurate, but something like this. It's going in this direction. This is velocity. Oops. Okay, it's, it's, it's moving along in that direction. Okay, so I haven't drawn this very accurately, but that's, that's how it's moving, somewhere along this line. Okay, now I'll use that once I've found the first value. So I know that at 10 a.m., is when the time is one hour. T is one hour, right? We can find its position vector, okay? Um, we know that R is equal to, this is four minus six T, okay? And eight T minus eight. So if I put T equals one in here, I'm gonna have four minus six, which is minus two, okay? When T equals one and 8 minus 8, which is 0. So this is a position vector when t is equal to 1 at 10 a.m. Okay, I put t equals 1 inside instead of the t's. So basically, I know at 1 hour it's exactly due west of the origin. So it's somewhere over here. This is its position when t equals 1 hour. Okay, this is, so this distance is 2 minus 2i, find the level with the origin. Okay, and it tells us that at 10 a.m., which is at this time, a lighthouse L is due west of the ship. Now, west is this direction. So the lighthouse, let's say it's over here somewhere. This is where the lighthouse is. We don't know exactly where it is, but we can find that from the other piece of information. They've told us at 10.30 a.m., now 10.30 a.m., 10.30 a.m. is a half an hour later than 10 a.m., so it's when time is 1.5 hours. Okay, so we can find out what the position of the ship is at that time. Okay, let's make this a bit longer because I think the ship's going to be further up here somewhere. Okay, at 10.30. All right, so let's now just use that same process here. Just substitute t equals 1.5 into this. So we know that r uh, after 1.5 hours is going to be 4 minus 6 times 1.5 all right and that's 
8 times 1.5, okay, minus 8. So the position vector of the ship at 1.5 hours is going to be 4 minus, now 6 times 1.5 is 9. That's going to be minus 5 in the i direction, okay, minus 5, and 8 times 1.5 is 8 plus 4, which is 12, 12 minus 8 is 4. So minus 5, 4. So the position vector of the ship at 1.5 is minus 5i plus 4j. And the position vector in one hour is minus 2i. Minus 2i, as you can see from here. So basically, it's going to be minus 5i, okay, plus, two, plus 4j. So it's going to carry on along the same line, okay, and it will be something like this. Okay, this will be the position of the ship. Okay, this is the position of the ship when t equals 1.5. Okay, so now it says at this point the lighthouse is due west of the ship. The lighthouse is due west of the ship. Okay, so if the lighthouse is due west of the ship, let me just draw a line here to make this other thing clear. Okay, if the lighthouse is due west of the ship, sorry, it says the lighthouse is southwest of the ship, sorry. When t equals 1.5, it's now southwest of the ship. And when it says southwest, it means exactly between south and west. Okay, that's west, and this is south, that would be west, and this would be south. So the angle here must be 45 degrees, exactly between west and south. Okay, now, if that angle is 40 de 45 degrees, this angle here is 90. Okay, because you've got a minus 5i plus 4j. i's and j's are perpendicular to each other. So if that's 90, this must also be 45, which makes this basically an isosceles triangle. Okay, so this length here and this length here are the same. Now, what's the magnitude of this? Well, we know that the position vector of the ship at 1.5 is minus 5i plus 4j. Minus 5i okay plus 4j right so from here to here is 5i and from there to there is 4j okay now if this magnitude of this line and that line must be the same therefore this must be 4i going this way so you've got minus 5 and minus 4 so you end up with the position vector of the lighthouse is going to be minus 9i. Okay? That's like a visual way of doing this question. All right? By working out the position vector of the ship at 1.5 hours. Okay? And you know that um, the lighthouse is due west of the ship. So you know it's along this line. It's due west of the ship when the ship was uh, after one hour. So it's, it's definitely along this line, which is like the y axis, the x axis of our diagram so it's going to be somewhere along this line okay and but it's exactly southwest of the ship so southwest means when it says southwest it means exactly halfway between west and south so that angle is 45 therefore this angle is 45 therefore this is isosceles so if that's four units up that must be four units across so you got five i plus your four five so you got your four i plus your five i which gives you your nine i to the left of the origin so it's minus nine i Okay, so that is the position vector of the ship, okay, um, of the lighthouse, sorry, um, from that information given. There's also other ways of doing this. Um, we could find the relative uh, vector between L and S and say that basically it's parallel to the vector minus K minus K. But that's like a bit of a hassle. This is a much easier visual way of doing it. All right, so that's part C finished. I hope that was clear to you all. Thank you for watching.